When we work with sales teams, we take the responsibility that's been entrusted to us very, very seriously. Sure, we have fun with the salespeople, but transforming a sales team into a top gun sales team is a big challenge, but we know how to do it. We have got a proven system, and we know that if everyone keeps their commitments, that we'll get a great result for our client, and we're prepared to work tirelessly and be on call 24 seven to achieve this. Now, the biggest challenge that we face sometimes though, may surprise you. No, it's not uncooperative salespeople. And no, it's not keeping up with the questions and coaching seven days a week, we, we actually enjoy that. And no, it's not taking calls from salespeople 10.30 on a Sunday night, someone who wants to get some help on a deal. No, we actually love that too. And of course, we love to hear their success story on Monday afternoon. You see, it's actually getting the CEO and senior management of some of our client companies to care as much as we do about creating not just good results, but great results with their team. Getting them a great return on their investment in the Top Gun training and coaching. You see, we always make it very, very clear right from the start that for us to achieve outstanding results and deliver on our promise that we require 100% support from the managing director, the CEO, the national sales director, and every single sales manager who is participating in the program. But sometimes, frankly, this doesn't happen. You see, sometimes good intentions don't always translate into actions. Sometimes it seems that once we've been given the assignment, some CEOs, some sales managers feel that they can now abdicate their responsibility, their role as a sales manager, and simply leave it to us. Well, you know, we've got very broad shoulders and we're prepared to work very, very hard, but ultimately, salespeople look towards their sales manager. And if sales managers look to their national sales manager or their sales director or their CEO or managing director to see if they're taking the program seriously, taking an interest and in inspecting what they're expecting, and they don't appear to be interested anymore, well, then that tells them that the boss has lost interest, they really don't care too much anymore, so they ease off and they start losing interest in what their salespeople are doing. And they stop inspecting what they were expecting. They stop running their weekly 45 minute team check-ins, their coaching and accountability sessions. And before you know it, their people stop meeting their Friday midnight deadlines for the end of each module in the first 12 weeks of the program. After all, the boss doesn't seem to care or even know where they're up to or what they're doing anyway. So how does all of this happen and why does it happen? You see, it's because a team will always be a reflection of its manager. And this starts right at the top. It starts when the CEO or the managing director says, Wayne, yeah, absolutely. I will be in on all five video conferences in the first 12 weeks, absolutely. I'll, I'll show that I'm interested. And then after the first one, they decide they're too busy to be in on the next one because they've got a flight to catch. Now they knew all about the dates and the times of the video conferences months in advance, but they booked a flight that clashed with that next video conference and they don't keep their promise. After all, they are the boss, they are important. You know, when this happens, this sends a message to the general managers and the other sales managers below that, well, these video conferences really aren't that important anymore. So at the next one, one or two of the managers say that, well, they're too busy to join the video conference. They'll be catching a flight somewhere at that time. After all, the managing director won't notice because frankly, they won't be on the video conference either. It seems that catching a flight or being overseas is an acceptable excuse after all. Well, so then the salespeople see that their manager doesn't think that being on the video conference is really important. Their sales managers don't always make it to the 45 minute weekly team check-ins and coaching sessions, not even by video conference. So next time they're supposed to be on a video conference, they explain that they've got an appointment. They'll be driving their car and they won't have time to do it, but you know, they will attend my phone while they're driving and looking out the window, or perhaps they'll really just be at home or in their office and maybe uh, you know checking their email at the same time. You know, it's so much easier to check your email if nobody can actually see what you're doing. They can sit in silence, even mute their microphone, even talk to somebody else. They don't laugh, it happens. And at the same time, it's true that they start missing the weekly deadlines, the one module per week by Friday midnight, and the sales guy missed the last Friday, and the boss doesn't even notice or say anything. And before you know it, the whole team knows that everyone is missing their deadline, and nobody seems to care 
from perhaps the Top Gun sales coach. And when one of our sales coaches asks the sales manager why someone is a week behind or two weeks behind or perhaps even three weeks behind, the sales manager doesn't even know this or care because they're also three weeks behind and their team knows this. Now you might think I'm being a bit negative and it's true, I'm painting the worst case scenario here because uh, I really care about the results we're gonna get for you and your team and because I'd like to see and have you see how important it is that every manager right from the top down keeps their promise to keep their commitments to stay on schedule. Because people do notice whether they do so or not. You see, it's their people who notice and their people follow their lead. But you know the reverse is also true. If the managing director or CEO keeps their commitment, participates in every video conference they have promised to, their general managers and regional managers, they do the same, and they give high priority to these commitments, so too do their salespeople, and when this happens, we can deliver a great result for a company. Outstanding results, in fact. Top Gun results. You see, it's not good enough to hear, well done, Wayne. Our people really love the program. At first, sales are up. It's a good result, better than we expected. You know, it's better than any training we've ever done before. But you know, people are losing a bit of interest now. They're complaining about having to watch the videos for a second time in phase two, which incidentally is the plan. But that's okay, you got us a good return on our investment. We're pretty happy, don't worry. Now the sad thing is we've heard this once or twice now, and perhaps only 20 weeks into a 52 week program. Well, you see, we are not happy with good results. We are not happy with the result that is perhaps only 20% or 30% of the improvement that we know would have been possible if the program had been supported 100% from the top down every week and our well-designed, well-proven system had been followed. And frankly, it's not that hard to utilize our system fully to maximize the return on investment that our client gets. In fact, you know, it's really easy. If everyone keeps their promise to themselves and to their team to simply do a few little things consistently every week, so it becomes a part of the Top Gun culture in their organization. You know, once this culture has been established, it's easy to keep in place. Yes, it's actually very, very easy to do these little things every week at every level, but therein lies the problem and the opportunity. You see, it's easy to do these things, but it's just as easy not to. And you know what? It's a choice. Now, we're really looking forward to working with you and your team. So what I'm asking is please help us to help make your program the great success and an outstanding success, a Top Gun success that we know it can be. You see, we're 100% committed to this outcome. Are you?